Hello! So today I have my current makeup collection in storage. I am planning on getting some more makeup soon probably. Um, I've been saving up for a little while to get some new makeup and I have a little bit of a list things I need to rebuy and such and some things I want to try out. So those things obviously aren't going to be in here but I will do like a haul and maybe some reviews for you if you want when I get those and I hope that you enjoy this. I've had a bunch of different makeup storages in the past in collections and stuff so I'll talk about that at a later date but this is what I'm doing now and I like it I only have stuff I really love and I hope that you guys enjoy so I will see you in like two seconds so first off this is where I store my makeup my makeup is in that top caboodle there the one underneath holds my rarest and most favorite lip smackers from like the 90s and early 2000s and then under that we have my big bin with the rest of my lip smackers. So we're gonna take this caboodle and I'm gonna bring it up to my bed so that it is easier for us to look through. Okay, so here we are. We got a dog booty here. Cause we have Shadow. Say hi to the camera, baby. Okay, I guess she's purposely gonna ignore you guys. I'm so sorry. Okay, so here's the caboodle. And we can now look through it. So you can definitely see us in the mirror. Hello, hello. So I like when you open it up, it has this nice big compartment down here. It has one up here and then this actually comes out. And then we've got this one over here. So let's look at the top section first. We're gonna look in this area. Okay, so I've had to cover the mirror with a birthday card because the light was reflecting off of it too much. So, I'm gonna take this out and we are gonna look in this container first. So, here I have some face products and some loose eyeshadows. So, we've got my Benefit Professional Pearl Primer here and we've also got an Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. I have the travel size because I only use setting spray like maybe once or twice a year. I only use it for like special events or whatever so I don't use it that much so the travel size works for me. Then we have my current foundation and BB cream. So I use the Tarte Amazonian Clay BB Tinted Moisturizer and I don't wear base products very often but these are the ones that I like when I do because I really like light stuff. And I am going to get some more makeup soon but I wanted to show you my current makeup collection before then and then I'll just do like a haul video or something. So we've got the tinted moisturizer and then we also have the normal foundation. I really love both of these but I'm going to need to get a new tinted moisturizer soon because I think this one is like definitely almost expired because it does not smell good anymore. And that's not good. Alright, whoa, shadow. Sorry, she almost just like tossed me off the bed, it's fine. Okay, now we're going on to some eyeshadow. So the one like down here that you cannot see is this Pixie glittery blue liquid eyeshadow in the shade Lagoon. It's super, super cool. It's like such a pretty color and that's awesome. I've been getting more into wearing like colored eyeshadow and like lots of sparkles and stuff, which seemed out of character for me, but it's really not. It's quite fun. Then we've got my purple one, of course. Oh, my dog is barking. She's barking at people across the street doing road work, which is great. Okay, so we have Urban Decay eyeshadow here, and this one is in the shade Psychedelic Sister. I do wear this a lot. It's super, super pretty. It's a very nice purple. Okay, then we have a Stila Glitter and Glow liquid eyeshadow here, and this one, it's just a really nice coppery one, and this is in the shade Smoldering Satin. So I'll just show you. It's like super, super glittery and like coppery and bronzy. It's beautiful. I love these. I need to get more of them in different colors. Then I have four ColourPop eyeshadows. So we've got I Heart This right here. We have Summer Lovin'. Birthday Girl, and a Maze. So you can definitely tell that I love ColourPop eyeshadows. So then looking at my little concealer thing, I just have three concealers that I use. 
I want to go in. There we go. So we've got Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. I really like light concealers, and this is a very nice light concealer. Um, I also have my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. And then I do have Tarte Shape Tape for those days when I feel like I need something that's like a little bit heavier, but even so, I use like the tiniest drop of that concealer. Okay, now we're gonna look at this little side container here. So we just have my Ulta Pencil Sharpener, then my Too Faced Shadow Insurance, which you know I use all the time. Then we've got some mascara here, so lots of CoverGirl. We have CoverGirl Lash Blast Fusion, and then Lash Blast Flourish. I love both of these. I often get CoverGirl concealers. I usually just switch between them because I really like natural... Oh wait, I said concealers, but I meant mascara. I switch between them because I really like natural mascara, and these are just really natural, and they still make your eyes look awesome. So, I love them. I do have another mascara down here. This is the Physician's Formula Organic Wear one, and this is also ultra natural, and I'm just obsessed with natural mascaras. Then I have my two wands, which I do clean, but I use to comb out my lashes. Like, to comb out clumps from the mascara and stuff. Then I have my Anastasia Brow Gel, and mine is in the shade Espresso. We have some liquid liners in here, so I have a mini Kat Von D Tattoo Liner, and it's just a black one. Then I have a Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner, and this is in the shade Midnight. I really like dark blue liquid liner. Um, I don't use black liquid liner on my eyes, really, because I just find that it looks a little too harsh. So, like, I usually use this for, like, drawing on myself, because it's, like, not harmful for your skin, and it stays on a long time, and it looks really cool. So, that's a plus. And then, this I will use on my eyes. Plus, I also have hooded eyes, so I have to do, like, the thinnest line possible. Then we've got some more stick things in here. So, we have Anastasia Brow Wiz, and I'm in dark brown. Then we have two eyeliners. I have an Ulta eyeliner, and this is just in blackout. And then I have a Maybelline Tattoo Studio eyeliner, and this is in charcoal, or intense charcoal. And these are both like gel pencils, and I really like the Maybelline one a lot because it doesn't transfer from the upper waterline to the bottom waterline, so if you only want a tight line and you don't want to put anything on your bottom waterline, then this one will work really well. And I like the charcoal too because it's not too intense. Okay, so now we are going to go through this nice big compartment which has a bunch of cool stuff in it. So I'll start off with some powders. We have Rimmel Stay Matte Powder, which I'm obsessed with and have been obsessed with forever. But they took the crown imprint away. There's no more crown imprint. And that made me sad because I thought it was so pretty and so cool. But it does still smell as good as at all. Ah, wow, can't talk. It does still smell as good as it always did, so that is still good. Then we have my Laura Mercier Loose Powder. It's in translucent. And then we have this Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Powder here. This one usually goes in my backpack during the semesters, but obviously it's not there now because it's summer, so it is with me. Now let's do some bronzer. So I have my NYC Sunny Bronzer here. I've used this forever. This is my second one and it's just so good. Is it just me or does bronzer like never go down? Like bronzer is never powdery and it like, I feel like it just never goes away. You know, like it's so weird, I don't know why. It took me so long to even like hit pan on the last one and I only threw the other one away because I'd had it for so long that it started developing kind of like that film where you couldn't really get the powder off anymore. Um, so that's why I tossed it and got a new one. And then we have the Butter Bronzer from Physicians Formula, and mine is in Light Bronzer. And then, you can definitely like see imprints, but it's not as much as like a blush or a pressed powder, you know? I also have an extra NARS concealer in here, because a while ago I thought I was running out, but I clearly wasn't, because <laughs> I've had this for like a year now, and I still haven't needed to use it. Then... Let's look at highlight. So back here, I have this MAC highlight in Show Gold, and what's cool about this one is it's gold with hot pink duochrome, and it's just really fancy and cool. I don't know if you can tell, but if you watched my summer inspiration video, then you would have seen it in there, so that is cool. Then my most favorite highlight is Becca's Moonstone. Of course, moon, like you wouldn't have guessed. 
And this I hit pan on a while ago, and I'm just obsessed with it. It is beautiful, and it fits my skin tone because I'm super, super pale, so like a lot of highlights don't work on me. Wouldn't it be awesome? Like, I would love to use like gold or rose gold champagne highlights. Like, I had the Becca and Jaclyn Hill palette for a little while, but then like, I didn't realize at the time that highlight could be too dark. I thought that highlight was kind of just universal no matter what color, because it was like light. You know what I mean? So like, I would put it on and it just wouldn't be as good as it was before, and then I was like, oh no, it's it's because it's just too dark. Which was sad, but I gave it to my friend and she has very, very dark skin. Or not very dark skin, but like, she's like a little darker than a medium skin tone. And so like the gold and the champagne, like rose gold, look gorgeous on her, obviously. So, yes. Now back to the stuff. So we're going to look at blush now. So I have Rockateur, which is one of my most favorites. And I don't know how well you can see this, but I have gone to town on that. The like design is completely like erased from my brush so you can tell that I love this one I also have this Milani one in romantic rose it's just one of like the powder rose ones so that's pretty and then this is probably my favorite blush this is max tenderling and you can see I've hit pan on that I'm sorry that it's like so bright I don't know if you can tell or not um, but I've hit pan on this and it's discontinued, so I'm never going to find it again. So the Milani one is kind of a dupe, but it's not as intensely pigmented, so that is sad, but it's fine. Alright, now we're getting into eyeshadow palettes. So I have my normal tartlet palette right here, lots of mattes. I don't know if you'll be able to see how much I've used it. Okay, this palette is so easy to open. What's going on? There we go. Alright, so you can see. I don't know if you can see my indentations, but I used it a lot. And I love this palette because it's all mattes, and I really like matte neutrals. I'm obsessed, so love that. And then we have my Tartlet in Bloom palette, which is also beautiful. It has a lot of matte neutrals, but then also some really pretty shimmers that I love. So there's that. Naked Basics. This is like the definition of matte neutrals, so I'm obsessed. Venus is not matte, but it's a beautiful inner corner highlight. So these are gorgeous. I don't know if you can tell, but there's like a huge indent in this one right there. Because I'm obsessed with Naked Basic palettes. And we've got this one. And I used to use this color back in the day to fill out my eyebrows. I think you can kind of see the indentation from like the angled brush that I used to use. And apparently at one point I like dug my fingernail into that color on the end. Nice. Really good. Love that. Okay. So now we have the... Normal Naked palette right here, which is gorgeous, and I don't use all the time, but I do love it and I do use it. Then we have my Galaxy Chic palette, which I don't even need to explain to you why I love this. Planets, and it's just so beautiful. And I don't use it a lot, but I'm starting to get into colors more, so we are trying. We're trying to get into colors. So, that seems like such a weird thing because I'm such a color obsessed person. Like, I'm a painter and like, I love colors. I love being colorful, but like, for some reason, I feel like I just look really good with everything neutral. But I'm really starting to like add a bunch of colors into the aesthetic of myself, you know? So, that's really awesome. And yeah, so now I'm gonna show you like where I keep my lip stuff and we will go through those. Okay, so here in the drawer of my IKEA mom table, I keep my lip stuff. So, as you can see, I've got some chapsticks here. These are like chapsticks that I actually use, not for necessarily collecting purposes. And then on the left in the other basket, you can see are my lipsticks and stuff. So, we can just go through those and see what lip products I have. So first we have this lipstick from Maybelline. It's a matte one and it's in Nude Nuance. Then we have this Lancome like lip pencil thing which I wear all the time. Um, it doesn't have a name but it's in the number 200 and I've looked on their website before and if you find the numbers on their website they do have names so if you're interested this is number 200 then you can go to the Lancome website if you want to find it. Um, my aunt used to work at Macy's and she got me like a makeup Lancome set thing for Christmas one year and this was in that and I'm absolutely obsessed with it. I think that might have been about three years ago. 
Then we have this pencil right here. It's a NARS, oh, I always forget the name, Velvet Matte Lip Pencil. And this is in Dolce Vita. It's a very, very sheer, pretty red color. And I believe this was a birthday gift from Ulta like last year. Then we have a ColourPop lipstick, and the, this packaging is just so perfect. Like, if that's not so me, it's just like gold with gold stars on it. Perfect. And this one is in Cheetah. It is a pastel purple. And look at the stars stamped on the lipstick. Like, is that not the cutest? I'm obsessed. Love it. Okay. Then I have a YSL lipstick down here. And it's just like a pretty sheer pink color like that. And again, like, YSL lipsticks don't have names. I think this is number 12. There's a bunch of numbers on here, though, but I think it's 12. Then we have a MAC lipstick here, and this is in Ruby Woo. It is a matte, and this is like one of my favorites ever because I love red lipstick, and this is like the perfect red, and the formula is amazing. Then we've got a bunch of color pop, so I'm gonna go through these sticks. So I have Brills, which is a light purple, pretty much the same as Cheetah. I like to layer them, use this kind of like a lip liner, and then put that one, the um, lipstick on top, and that looks really cute. Then I have Cami, it's a matte X, and it's just a really pretty like pinkish nude color. And then we have Lumiere, which is a matte, and it's like a purpley nude, and really, really pretty. Then we have a few liquid lipsticks, which I don't use all the time, but I do love. So we have Prim, which is a nice dark red. Then we've got Lumiere 2, which is like this dusty purple color. Then we have Love Bug, which is like, whoa, sorry, one of them was rolling off. It's like an orangey red color. We have Alyssa, which is like a pinky mauve color. November, which is a more like pinkish mauve, but like more pink. We have Frickin' Frack, which is like a reddish nude taupey color. Oh my goodness, they're all rolling off the table. Okay. We have Dopey, which is like a purpley pink, and then we have Dreamy, which is like a nudish pink orange color. I don't know how to describe these, I'm sorry, and I'm sorry that they're out of focus, but you can still see the colors. And real quick, I just wanted to share that I keep my makeup brushes up here in this little holder from Target. So I have my Real Techniques sponge down there, and then just all of my face brushes, and then my eye brushes. I mostly have Real Techniques, but for eyes, I do have a couple Morphe and a couple It Cosmetics, and then a couple odd ones here and there, but overall, most of them are Real Techniques. So I hope you guys liked my makeup storage and current collection and stuff. Let me know if you have any of these, if you like any of these, um, if you want to try out any of these. Um, let me know some other stuff that you like, some makeup stuff that you like. Um, sorry, I like can't talk. I, It's fine. Whatever. You don't care. You get me, so it's fine. But let me know what makeup stuff you like if you wear makeup. And um, I feel like I'm trying to talk too fast because the battery's about to die, so that's why I'm like kind of crazy, but it's okay. So yeah, thank you for watching, and I love you to the moon and back, and I will see you later. Bye.